Casper.fans are all at thelogbook.com. We're on the ColecoVision. We're playing a game called Flipper Slipper, which was uh, produced for the ColecoVision by Spectra Video, which was a company that had done a few... Um, I think they had done a few games for the Atari 2600. They also had their own computer system. Flipper Slipper is a lot like... It's kind of like the closest we got to a home version of Cutie Q. Which I suppose I should explain what, what in the world Cutie Q is now. Cutie Q was a uh, very similar game to this. Kind of combining elements of... Breakout and Pinball. Oh! I missed. And QDQ was uh, produced at Namco, where it was the last project undertaken by a game designer named Toru Iwatani before he began working on the project that the world now knows as Pac-Man. This kind of takes the game mechanics of QDQ and puts them in a uh, an aquatic environment. Because apparently you're trying to defend a seawall of some sort here. taking out that turtle. I <laughs> keep getting points for it. So apparently that's a thing you're supposed to do. Oh, oops. turtle. Sorry, Flipper Slipper. Well. Um. Hmm. Let's try that again. You know, it's too bad the Odyssey 2 never got around to doing something kind of like that. I mean, they did with Killer Bees, I suppose. But, uh, I always thought Spectre Video was... Borrowing the Odyssey 2 Vanishing Point logo there, to a certain degree. Of course, now it's no big deal. Uh, the arcade sign at the uh, at the arcade in the series Stranger Games totally is uh, based on the Odyssey 2 logo. And, you know, we cheer for that, so... I suppose there are only so many ideas in the world. turtle.
also, I suppose, if you were really uh, spoiling for a home version of QDQ for whatever reason. Which I, I have no idea how well known QDQ was in the States. It did get US distribution, but it was, it was fairly obscure. wonder what happens if you hit all of the uh, the blocks in the uh, the cage holding that what looks like a bear to me it looks like a bear to me um, maybe we'll find out maybe we won't you never know what's going to happen on Phosphor Fossils. Like, that could happen. What the heck? Hey, fish. Where'd that fish come from? It doesn't matter, because he's going to be covered in water, which I suspect is a thing a fish would enjoy. But it's probably not supposed to happen in this game. So there you have it, Flipper Slipper for the ColecoVision. Um, nice little game if you're jonesing for something kind of like QDQ. And as I said, I probably need to play QDQ, so my constant references to it make some kind of sense. But uh, a, a fun little game, I, I mean, it's probably nothing that you couldn't pull off on lesser hardware than the ColecoVision, but it's enjoyable enough as it is.